Who are you and how did you get into my office? Are you recording? Yeah. <laughs> It's Lee here, the rental guy. Welcome to the vlog. Uh, welcome to summer. Let's get into it. Oh, and for those of you who don't know, I started a party rental business from the garage of my house. Uh, it's not in the garage anymore, and I've documented everything. And this is the vlogs. I started a party rental business from the garage of my house. Uh, it's not in the garage anymore, and I've documented everything. And this is the vlogs. Let's get started. Woo! You're probably wondering what I've been up to. Well, busy season is finally starting to take effect, and I am getting a lot of bookings because I'm able to, well, my wife's doing a lot of the processing of orders. Ooh, How many shares? 50, 100? <laughs> you know, at first I was like, yeah, you know, I'll get my wife in, she'll do uh, things, you know, I'll make a place for her. And then when she came, I didn't realize that was a place that I needed because I would have never uh, relinquished the reins to just anyone for that. Uh, my wife takes care of the office work. She um, helps manage the finances. She does the payroll. She makes sure that the phone is always answered. Uh, you know, people walk into the showroom. She's able to uh, show them things and get their booking, right? Before, I was doing the labor, training on the labor, overseeing that, and then grabbing phone calls while I was out. Um, you know, if I was in the middle of something, I would miss a phone call. It would hit voicemail, and I would get busy, and the customer would go to someone else. But now, we always answer. We always return phone calls. We always are right on it. So the people that don't want to book instantly online, uh, they're getting served. Some people just need to talk on the phone and having my wife there uh, daily makes us way more money because uh, we're not letting those people slip through the cracks. And before I never would have, um, you know, relinquished that kind of power over. But now that I've given it to her, I realized that it was something I needed without even, um, you know, prior thinking through it. It was just like, oh, you know, my wife uh needs a job now that we're making making more so anyways it's pretty awesome so if you are teetering you know if you need an office person um get an office person because it will pay itself back quick so another thing is every order that we deliver gets a cart and if people don't stack them back on the cart well there's a sticker here that says it's 50 cents per chair so you bet your butt that things are gonna be stacked from now on. Okay, so there's nothing really more professional than when you drop off chairs, having them strapped to a cart for the client, and then having a sticker on the bottom that says, hey, you better stack these up right there, or having tables delivered on a professional table cart, or having uh, dishes in the proper, like, milk crate or dish rack, and, um, you know, things inside uh, the totes, right? So what I've decided to start doing is asset labeling here. So I've made things, they're free of price, but when they're on, the invoice, uh, there's a little thing that says, hey, if you don't return this here, um, then you will be charged X amount of dollars. And so I've done this for um, assets, and that's what I'm doing is adding assets. So 
we can wrap things more professionally, but uh, we need to make sure they're returned. So we wanna track their return. And as we're packaging them up and we're adding them to the order, like chairs for the chair cart, we add them onto the order free of charge, but to be charged if they don't get returned. And I'm gonna be doing it on little things like clips for table skirts, um, basically everything that I wanna get back, but is important for the item to go out packaged properly or with pieces that we don't wanna, that we want back. here the rental guy and today I'm at uh, well it's like a sports stadium here in my city they do like lacrosse it's it's huge anyways they rented some video games so I've got uh, the dance dance uh, well it's called step mania but everyone calls it dance dance revolution set up here and then if you just come this way over here we've got the frozen pond which is like their sports memorabilia store however they've got it uh, set up so that there's like a little mini kind of arcade set up in there. So uh, this is what I've got here. It's uh, like a retro versus and a Pac-Man machine. So this gig was worth uh, over a grand. Uh, very simple, yet lucrative. Point video games. How do I package them up? I simply wrap them. And then I put a sticker on them with the customer's name and then they look packaged and polished for a customer pickup. So people often ask me, is renting letters and numbers lucrative? And the answer is absolutely. Why the heck wouldn't it be? Is it expensive to get into? Yes, it can be. But that's why me and Les created the blueprint so that uh, you can build these bad boys. Anyways, these are the blueprints here. You can check them out. Me and Les uh, have them on our store for you to buy. Go buy. Well, this is the computer by uh, the back door here. So a customer rolls up here and you know we can quickly process their order. So, bam. So it's 9.30 p.m. I'm heading out to pick up an exact time delivery. Uh, here I go, pick up some yard games. Very easy, lots of money, cool. See, easy, I've just got some yard games here. Um, putter ball, putter ball, ladder ball, bean bag toss, um, and exact pickup time really, really puts the ticket price up. Okay, so one other thing that I've noticed is the showroom. You know, I was just like, oh yeah, customers will come in and I'll have meetings with them, it'll be great. Customers do come in, but they don't know what the heck they want and they want to see everything in the showroom like it's a mall that they can walk through. So we put the showroom open by appointment only because people will come in and they'll be like, hey, uh, we don't know what we're looking for. Can you show us some stuff? And it's like, well, and then the phone's ringing, right? And so my wife can't do everything at once. and. I'm doing other things and the staff are doing other things. And you know, you have to be a really big business to uh, have a showroom to do showroom appointments, especially when you're just in, uh, you know, events and not wedding planning. So this is kind of like a wedding planning thing. Anyway, showroom is good because we do score some uh, clients who do book things in advance. Uh, you know, we say, hey, is there anything in particular that you're looking for? And they're like, yeah, oh yeah. And we're like, oh yeah, well, we'll take a picture and send it to you. Or, you know, if they must come in, then they can. Um, or it's just good for people who need to see a real location. But um, it wasn't what I thought it was. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, 
uh, consider subscribing to the channel and we'll see you on the next one. You stay classy.